Hello dolls! Welcome to my channel where we like to live happy or die trying. Today I will be creating some happiness on our apartment balcony, getting it ready just in time for summer. At this time, the world is still in quarantine and will not be opening back up until further notice. So I figured, why not bring the beach to us? This video features DIY seashell decor using Dollar Tree products and supplies. Check the description box for a full list of everything I used in this video as well as links for where to buy them. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd like to thank you in advance for watching my video and choosing happiness. So I just got done cleaning the balcony and cleaning the chairs and now I'm going to take some of that spray paint and just do about two or three coats of that on the chairs. Our first craft will be some DIY pillows that I made using tablecloth um, from Walmart. Of course you can use any fabric that you would like, but uh, fabric can be kind of expensive so I would definitely recommend um, using some tablecloth as a much cheaper alternative. Plus this is going outside so um, tablecloth is usually it's good for outside um, places so I think it's a, a really good alternative for fabric and right here I'm just showing you how I am gluing um, down the sides of the fabric or well the tablecloth I already cut it and everything but actually I need to start all over because the first time I did it I messed up um, because the tablecloth kept moving around and I ended up gluing it so uneven so um, I just grabbed some pins to pin it down and that should hold it in place while I apply the glue um, I'm using hot glue in this uh, for this project but I would recommend using E6000 glue because um, I think the E6000 glue is just like more of like a heavy duty type glue and the 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 hot glue uh, I don't know maybe it's because of like the plastic it's not like it doesn't stick as well but if you have a sewing machine I would definitely um, ultimately recommend using a sewing machine I have a sewing machine but my needle broke so I wasn't able to use it for this project um, so I'm gonna need to uh, to find a get a new needle for the next time I make these pillows um, if you would like to see how I cut the tablecloth just let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy to do a video of how I uh, cut out the, the tablecloth to make these pillows um, I just didn't think that it was necessary for this video because it would take too long I just stuffed the pillow and now to close it I'm using these clips to help me hold it in place. Now I'm going in with the hot glue and once you're done with each section just make sure you clip it back to, um, to hold it in place and then don't take it off until the glue is completely dry.
for the table, I am just using a regular old TV tray that we had uh, sitting around our apartment and I'm just going back in with that spray paint that I used for the chairs and I'm just going to completely cover the, the TV tray. Our next craft will be rope coasters and all I'm doing here is I just took um, a top of a uh, candle that's just the lid from a candle and then I bought some um, that's hemp corn hemp, I'm sorry hemp cord that I bought from uh, Walmart and as you can see I'm just gluing that onto the top of the candle lid and um, and then just cut it with some scissors and then just finish that up just like that and now those edges are kind of more exposed than I would like them to be so I'm going to apply some more glue and then I'm going to apply some more cord to um, to cover up those edges Now we are going to create some sand decor to go with the beach theme and I just got that uh, that glass bowl from Dollar Tree for one dollar and the sand I got from Walmart for I believe maybe $4.99 maybe $3.99 and as you can see I'm just maybe pouring in the sand about halfway and I got some tea lights from um, Dollar Tree as well and um, I also bought a bag of seashells which is also from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take those seashells and stick it into the sand. I got this rug from Walmart for $20 I believe and in this shot you're probably noticing that the table is not finished um, it's not completely painted that's because I ran out of spray paint as I was um, doing as I was spraying the the table and so I had to run back out and get some more spray paint but um, right now I'm just trying to figure out how I want to uh, set up the chairs on my balcony as you can see I don't have a whole lot of room to work with so I'm just kind of trying to play around with it to see what works best now those wooden signs there I bought from Dollar Tree one dollar each and I thought they were absolutely I thought they were so cute um, and it's just so perfect for my beach theme and there I'm just hanging up the pictures and thumbs up for my mom jeans guys <laughs> uh, I bought those jeans from Goodwill for like five dollars now I am um, taking some uh, fish netting, fish fish nets that I um, that I bought from Dollar Tree, and I'm just hanging that up on the railing to um, create the fish nets. To well, to I'm gonna you'll see once it's all done. Um, and I just took a nail and I'm using that to secure that onto the railing so the netting won't fly away as easily. Um, once it starts getting a little windy. To secure it even more, I'm taking a zip tie, which I also bought from Dollar Tree, and I'm just wrapping that around um, the wood there, making sure I, um, I'm also grabbing a piece of the net so I can secure it um, to the railing and the wind won't you know blow it away now it's time to prep the seashells and what I did here is I took some e6000 glue and I just put 
a drop of it on the back of the seashells and I let it sit for 15 minutes so it won't be as wet when I'm applying it to the fishnet and then I took um, a few pieces of tape and I just tore them into tiny little pieces um, small enough so it, it will fit onto the back of the seashell and here I'm using blue tape because I couldn't find my clear tape but I would most definitely recommend using clear tape now what I'm going to do is uh, take a piece of the fishnet and just press that into the semi-dry E6000 glue and then I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to cover that. These are the command hooks that I will be using to hang up the fishnet wall decor and I ended up using about four hooks. Um, you can use as many as you like to achieve the desired look and then of course just add the seashells just like I showed you before. I wanted to put some uh, some plants out on my uh, balcony, but I didn't want to spend too much for you know the different plants and stuff that they have at Walmart or Target or whatever. So I just took a um, glass cylinder that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm using that same sand that I got from Walmart, and then those uh, those palm uh, those pieces of like the palm tree things, whatever. Um, I got those from Target Dollar Spot for three dollars each. Here's everything I use for the lights. And here is the finished product. I added in a few accents of green and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I had so much fun making this video. If you like what you see, please let me know in the comments below which craft is your favorite and I'll see you in my next one.